Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the exact strategy what we use to find and test winning products using a proven system. This kind of videos are part of one of the knowledge value uh, I have here. You can access it through my Twitter bio. I will leave a link down in the description. You can see here we are working on the simple way to find the winning product. So this video basically contains three steps, which I'm going to explain in a minute. My name is Robin. I have five years of e-commerce knowledge, which I'm going to give you and share with you for totally free, right? Okay, let's dive right into the three steps. So first of all, we need to define what is a winning product for you with your skills and expertise, where you can find these products to test and how you can use the, uh, our system that is super simple to automize most of the tasks to one of the team members and everyone can understand it, right? So one thing you need to remember before I'm going to show you the three steps, everything in dropshipping is based of quality because if you have good quality products, uh, you can make more profit, right? But if your quality of your products are not good, you can burn money, burn your profit, burn your advertisement account, uh, getting issues with the payment processor and overload your customer service for literally no reason if you choose to go for quality, right? So, okay, let's go to step number one. What is, a what is a winning product for you, right? There are so many uh, products online that you cannot test. So you need to define your own criteria. What is a winning product for you? And what kind of skills and expertise do you have to make a, pr a product winning, right? Because there are two ways to uh, test products. You can either find a product with a good market fit, or you can create a winning product by testing different offers and different hooks. So these are the two ways and it all depends on the skills and the time and system you implement. So there are two things which I uh, will explain to define a winning product for me. Uh, so first of all, uh, you, need to, um, you need to take in consideration that uh, 50 euros or more average order value is quite important because the marketing costs are significantly increasing right now. So you need to have at least 50 euros average order value to get, make enough profit to scale later down the line if you find a winning product. If the average order value is below 50 euro, it's quite risky to scale because the profit margin is simply smaller, right? Uh, besides that, you need to find a product that uh, is easy to upsell or downsell uh, or make any bundles so you can increase the average order value like this. I'm going to explain more about that in a minute because I have a sample prepared. Uh, you need to find a product where you have quality content to use it in your description, uh, on your product listings, on the website and in the, uh, in the ads. So. It's also important to pick a product that is proven with many reviews so you can prove that the quality is good so you have simply satisfied customers, right? And another one uh, is that the product is easy to understand and don't need too much explanation because people nowadays have a really short attention span so it's important to test product that they easily understand. So the other things uh, I need to mention here are nice to have. So it's uh, nice to have a product that's not breakable during the shipping because it avoids any uh, dissatisfied customers and customer service, right? Uh, it's nice to have a product that's problem solving because you can really nail down on the product description and in your advertising about the problem solving uh, factors here. Uh, it's nice to be the first one and uh, tap into a product that's not saturated by any other people. Uh, it's also nice to have a product that makes people easily satisfied, right? They receive the product after a few days waiting and they're simply uh, happy with it. So it, that's really nice to have. So the product is not too complicated. And it's also nice to have a product uh, that avoids any uh, many size measurements or variance in terms of colors or sizes uh, because uh, people nowadays are quite in a rush and you need to make sure that you avoid decision fatigue and that basically means that you have too many options on the website. People don't want to choose one of them and they leave your website without a purchase, right? So this was step number one. Now I'm going to step uh, number two, where you can find this winning products. So I see in Europe that uh, Temu is really upcoming amongst uh, visitors and buyers. Then you come right here. And then I would I like to specify the best sellers. Uh, I like to specify the last 30 days. So it's recent uh, what people are buying and then you can select any niche what you want. As I just said, it all depends on your skills and requirement, what is a winning product for you, right? So you basically scroll down right here, uh, you match your description or actually your defined criteria, what is a winning product for you, and you add it later in your system, which I'm going to explain you in a minute, right? So I already did a, a, a fast scroll to not waste any of your time. 
and therefore I found this winning product. I know many people that have su had success in different uh, European countries for that. So if you open it right here, you see that the product is nice looking, the quality of the images are nice. There's an actual dog sleeping right here, so there's a bit of trust. It, it has many reviews, which you can see here, with user-generated content, which you can use here. And I always advise you to take pictures uh, from websites like this for the first time. Uh, if it's a winning product, make sure you get your own uh, quality images and to avoid any DMCA strikes, right? So always borrow the content first to validate if it's a winning product and uh, make your own content later on. So we use this simple Chrome extension. Uh, the name is Image Downloader. So you can literally download all images in high quality right here. So that's another bonus tip right here. So let's take this product as a sample and go back to the Notion sheet. Um, the last step what I'm going to explain is what kind of system do you need to have to test products on autopilot, right? So you need to understand there are two kind of tasks here. You have task with a low uh, hourly rate and you have task with a high hourly rate. And the task with a low hourly rate, you want to outsource to a Philippine VA or another VA uh, to do it for you as a team. And therefore you need to have a system. And you also need to understand that you as a manager have the responsibility to make important choices, which I'm going to show you in the system in, in a minute. So these steps are, uh, this uh, uh, research is basically uh, contains six steps. And one other thing I would like to mention is keep your uh, system as simple as possible. We literally test Notion, Monday, ClickUp, whatever, all system tools that are there, but we find most success in the one that is simple because everyone can understand it and make it work, right? So this system basically consists of six steps. First of all, you need to do the product research on Temu as I just showed. Then you implement these products in the Trello, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, later, you need to have the right naming code to implement it in the Trello. Uh, and that is important for the Trello board, the drive, the ads, and the customer service. I will explain that in a minute as well. Uh, then you need to find someone that add the products to your Shopify uh, website uh, with the photos, the description, the reviews, and the price, and so on. Uh, then you need to check for the upsells, the bundles, uh, and the downsells. And then you can start advertising, right? So, okay, let's show, let's show you the uh, system we use. I made a simple example here, right? So we just found the uh, dog bed pow here. So we always use product one, product two, product three, and so on. So you can define in the whole process what kind of product you are talking about, right? So your product research, you uh, add the products in the Trello right here, in the row potential products as product one, dog pow. So later on, uh, when you or any other responsible manager approves this product to test, you can drag it right here. Uh, then your Philippine VA can add this product to the website. So they uh, add it to the, this right column, right? And then later on, if it's added to the product, you or any responsible manager check it again. If the price, the description, everything is in, in the right place, uh, then you can drag it right here. You can have someone that makes the content, uh, photos and videos for you that you can use in the advertisement later on. So he or she will find the products right here and start creating the content. When they are ready, they simply implement the content in this Trello sheet so you can start preparing the ads. And from there, you can focus on testing, scaling and killing the ads, right? So this is basically the simple system that we use to uh, test the products and what I recommend for other people as well. So this video was part of my uh, knowledge center, which you can access through my Twitter bio. I will leave the link down in the description. And I'm basically giving uh, all my free value for free. I have five years in e-commerce knowledge, uh, which I'm going to break down in all the videos like this, right? So if you go to my Twitter, you can see here that I have the link right here. I just started to share as much value as possible. So if you click here, the link here in the, in the bio of Twitter, you come to my knowledge center, which is here. And here I add a new weekly, uh, uh, knowledge for totally free, right? So this video is one of them. I'm going to upload it right here So everyone in the database can access this value So if you have any other questions feel free to reach out to me on Twitter And if you would like to use our Google Ads agency like I run an own agency and we help uh, e-commerce brands and dropshipping brands scale to past 100k with Google Ads You can reach out to me uh, using the Calendly link right here And if you have any other question, you can always reach out to me through Twitter so I hope this video was valuable for you. If so, make sure you put the thumbs up and leave a comment with any question and I will answer them. Without further ado, 
I hope you enjoy your day, find this video valuable and see you in the next one. Ciao!